Welcome to Full Frontal. I'm Samantha Bee. If you're anything like me, you have abnormally narrow ear canals and you're absolutely dreading the next election season. If that's the case, I have sort of good news. Soon, you might not be able to vote at all. Well, last year, 19 states passed 34 laws adding new voting restrictions, stricter voter ID laws, limiting the availability of absentee ballots and drop boxes, and purging voter rolls. If Republicans can just whittle us down to zero voters and install any leader they want, they'll finally achieve our founders' vision of the end to tyranny. The GOP is doing everything it can to poison democracy, from gerrymandering to delegitimizing opponents' victories to making James Woods lick every ballot so you won't want to touch them. Until last week, Democrats' best hope to fight back was passing voting rights legislation. Unfortunately, they happened. Democrats are regrouping after failing to pass their landmark voting reform legislation in the Senate on Wednesday. The efforts were stopped short when two Senate Democrats sided with Republicans. In turn, Democrats failed at garnering enough support to make changes to the 60-vote filibuster rule. Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema joined all 50 Republicans in rejecting the rule change. Yes, America's favorite centrist Democrat fun couple, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, heroically protected the filibuster. We sort of understand this bullshit from Joe Manchin, a red state senator who calls himself a Democrat the same way Mormon teens call themselves virgins. But Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema is more of a mystery. She represents a state that's been trending bluer, yet she repeatedly goes against her own party. And the party is finally losing patience. Senator Kirsten Sinema censured by the Arizona Democratic Party. That unanimous vote by the executive board happening earlier this morning, just days after Senator Sinema voted to uphold the Senate filibuster, which is currently preventing Democrats from passing sweeping voting rights legislation. Sinema says she wants to uphold the traditions of the filibuster, but that would be a lot more believable if she also upheld the traditions of spelling. Why, Kirsten, why? Cinema has derailed the Democrats' agenda for some time now. She famously gave a thumbs down to increasing the minimum wage and has fought to cut down Biden's Build Back Better bill. Cinema has basically been a pain in the butt for years, like an itchy lace thong you only wear when dating someone new. So why censure her now? They said it, her vote to preserve the 60 vote threshold, which effectively dooms the Freedom to Vote Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act is not acceptable to them. This was simply the last straw. Well, censuring a senator is pretty rare and thus a big deal. It's also kind of not. So what does it mean to censure a senator? Well, it's less severe than an expulsion and does not remove the senator from office, obviously, and the state party or the state party or act as any form of actual punishment. It's more of a formal statement of disapproval. If it gets any worse, Democrats will give Cinema a two minute timeout and make her go stand in the corner and face Yuma. Kirsten Sinema's reasons for defending the filibuster are particularly obnoxious. She said she would not support any actions that worsen the underlying disease of division infecting our country. Lady, you are the disease of division infecting our country. In fact, this is a good excuse to use my favorite clip of the week. What a stupid son of a bitch. I'm going to try to squeeze that in somewhere else. I just don't know where yet. Stick with me. Cinema's role in helping Republicans block voting rights legislation hurts people of color most of all. In response, one of the country's largest Latinx grassroots organizations is calling to unseat her. Voto Latino is announcing a big ad campaign to unseat Kirsten Cinema in her next primary and get her out of the United States Senate. What was able to get Cinema over to the top to go to the to go to the Senate was literally the Latino vote. Millions of Arizona and Latinos will be disenfranchised. Many of Cinema's colleagues are also fed up. Tim Kaine made time to call her out, even though he's still stuck on that highway in Virginia. Meanwhile, a group of 70 donors who supported Cinema's 2018 campaign demanded that she refund their donations. I hate to break it to them, but cinemas don't do refunds. Trust me, I tried after Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when I sat in the theater for three hours and neither Leo nor Brad showed whole. Several major organizations also withdrew their support, including NARAL and EMILY's List. EMILY's List contributed nearly half a million dollars in 2018, making them by far her largest contributor. Her second largest? Angie's List. They gave her a quarter million dollars worth of the best rated plumbers in Tucson. 
Cinema was not always the Democratic Party's centrist albatross she is now. 20 years ago, she compared taking campaign cash to accepting bribes. Now, however, she gets so much corporate money, she became the Senate's third top recipient of cash from the pharmaceutical and finance sectors. Although, let's be honest, by lunchtime, finance and pharma usually merge into one sector. Cinema thinks she has to follow Joe Manchin's playbook to win re-election in 2024, but what she's doing now really isn't working. Recent polls find she has just an 8% approval rating among Democratic voters in her home state. Even members of Congress who've been indicted don't have numbers that low. 8% approval? You know things are bad when your primary base is just the margin of error. As it stands, political analysts believe it would be difficult for Cinema to win a primary in two years, and her actions aren't just hurting her. Kirsten Cinema's obstruction is demoralizing. In 2020, Dems showed up to the polls in record numbers to stop Donald Trump and fight for legislation that actually helps people. As we look to the midterms in November, Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin are a major reason why Biden has failed to deliver on many of his promises. If this is the best we can get, of course voters are asking, what's the point? By blocking voting rights, Kirsten Cinema has done irreparable damage to this country. And Kirsten, I am talking to you now. In two years, you're gonna lose anyway. Why block progress? Be a one-term senator who saves democracy instead of someone who craps on Americans while cashing checks from Big Pharma. Because right now, you know what you look like? You look like a stupid son of a bitch. In Under the Wire, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more from Full Frontal, like and subscribe. If you'd like to hear some opinions from a man in a lifted truck, leave YouTube on autoplay.